The Eastern Illinois Panthers are preparing for a quarterfinal playoff game at Montana on Saturday. Decatur kicker Ray D'Alessio has been an instrumental part of the Panthers' success. WAND's Mike Clef was in Charleston and has the story. Ray D'Alessio has been one of the truly pleasant surprises for the Eastern Illinois Panthers in what has been a surprising season for Bob Spoo's team. According to Spoo, D'Alessio's contribution to the Panthers' 9-3 and three season is one of dedication. To have a walk-on come on like that and have such an impact, we're, we're glad to have him. And I, I know he's going to make some, some kicks uh, yet in his career that are going to help us. Even in the hard times where I have missed a few, there hasn't been anybody who said, you know, oh, come on, you know, make it. You know, everybody's always been positive about it, you know, and patted me on the head and said, hey, you know, you'll get the next one. A lot of times place kickers are considered loners. They kind of float off to themselves. With Ray, that's not the case. He's got a great personality. I think the, I think the team uh, genuinely like him. I don't feel like I'm on a team. I feel like I'm just, we're all just one big family because everybody is so close. How do you think Ray's done this year? Ray, come, he came through for us a lot of games this year. He's a great kicker. Ray graduated from Eisenhower and is good friends with Milliken quarterback Matt Snyder. I thought about him on Saturdays when they were playing, and you know, it's just, it's just a shame that uh, we're in the playoffs and they're not now. So, <laughs> think is going to be in the playoffs next week? I hope he is. Hey, Ray, go get him. Ray totaled 10 field goals and 23 extra points in the regular season, and is hoping his legwork is far from done in '89. In Charleston, Mike Clef, WAND. Things are going well for the 15th-ranked Eastern Illinois Panthers who have made it to the quarterfinals of the NCAA Division I AA playoffs. The Panthers play at Montana on Saturday. WAND's Mike Clef was in Charleston today and has this report. The Eastern Illinois Panthers certainly are in the quarterfinals of the Division I AA playoffs, which might surprise a few people. A lot of the so-called experts picked the Panthers to finish in the middle of the Gateway Conference, but before the season, during the season, and even now, the Panther players have been saying all along that this season has been anything but a surprise. You know, I said in the media day that we were the team to watch and uh, that we were going to be a surprise, you know, in 1989, and, uh, you know, here we are in November getting ready to head out to Montana. Nobody seems to want to give us any respect, and I think that's good because you know, that makes us try harder, and you know, when, you're, when everybody thinks you're second best, you always try harder. You know, they're just thinking, oh, another six and five years, seven, four year, and you know, Easter will play, it's 11 weeks, and then they'll be done. Yurkovic hey! is the leader of a very solid Panther defense. For the second straight year, he was named the Gateway Conference Defensive Player of the Year. He knows what he's doing on the field. He knows when a lineman's going to turn on him. He knows what he has to do to beat that turn block. So I look at him as a player coach. As a kid, you know, we'd uh, fill out what you want to be in your life. And I'd always put professional football player, and teachers would kind of laugh at me, and students would kind of laugh at you. He's just gotten better, and he's a great person. He's a great leader, and uh, uh, it deserves everything that he's uh, achieved. The Panthers are at Montana this Saturday after winning at Idaho last Saturday somewhat remote places to play, but what's not remote are the Panthers' chances at a national championship. I'm not shaving until, until it ends, and that's going to be about December 17th or so.